Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. So I know that a ton of you guys who are watching are coming from my Instagram account. So if it's your first time on my YouTube channel, hi and welcome. I make new videos every Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. And I literally just like got up, I'm in my comfy clothes and I have a cup of coffee right here. I suggest you get your cup of coffee, a snack, your tea, whatever you need. Get comfortable because class is in session and we are just gonna go through how I edit my Instagram photos today. I feel like recently my Instagram has really shifted to a more playful, kind of not as crisp and cut and like editorial as it used to be. I really like to be more playful now and I feel like it really goes well with my personality. Let's take a look at my Instagram right now. Um, I really love the way it looks. Um, I love the feed. I love the way that it's playful and it's just the tones are all there. It's um, I'm having a lot of fun and I never got this many requests to do my um, how I edit my Instagram photos So um, clearly you guys really like it too um, The apps that I have downloaded other than the ones that come on my phone are Unum, Visco, Facetune, um, Olympus which is how I uh, remote shoot with my Olympus camera Fonto which is a text like a text um, overlay App, which I don't really use that much, Snapseed, Huji, Gudok, um, Camera Connect, Lightroom, InShot, Unfold, Planoly, 8mm, um, Hypetype, and Storylux. I also use Canva, um, which is this app here. I also use Canva for a lot of my photos, but um, we're gonna go through the apps in just a second. Let's go through and show you guys the three photos I'm gonna be editing today. So I thought I would do one um, photo that was taken on my nice camera, my professional Olympus camera. Um, one photo that was taken on my iPhone, which is this one here. And then another photo um, of a flat lay, which is this one here. On my photos, I have a preset recipe. And I'm gonna show you guys that right here. Um, if, you are, if you are new to Instagram, I highly recommend checking out you know, presets and going on Pinterest and checking out Visco presets or different formulas and recipes that you can just paste onto your photos and play with it and see what you like. So this is a recipe that I've created. I'll leave it down below as well. You can stop the video right here and just screenshot this. So, and when I copy these, um, preset photos like these edits and I paste it onto the naturally shot photo that I took yesterday. This is how the photos come out and I am incredibly happy with how they come out already. So that's what the three look like. There's just minor edits that I have to do, but for the sake of time, I'm not gonna go through and show you every specific thing from scratch because again, you can just go through and look at the description box and try that for yourself. Now I saved all three of these photos. This is what it looks like fresh from Visco and I can go through and put it inside of my Unum app, which is um, pretty much a planning app and you can see your feed and what it would look like in the future. So if I were to um, put this flat lay in, already the tones are perfect. I don't think there's much I would need to do in this photo or I can put in a you know selfie photo and it looks perfect. There's really not much that I would change, honestly. So once I have um, put it in on them and I see that, okay, these photos look nice, it makes sense with my feed, all the tones are making sense, um, I look at the photos and I'm like, okay, what don't I like about it though? Like, what don't I like about these three photos? And let's start with this one. I feel like this photo is quite dull. So I'll actually go into Snapseed, which is um, just a Google app that they made for photo editing. And um, we're gonna go through this photo here. And as you can see, it's just really dull. I don't really like how kind of like dark it is. So I use the selective tool and I like to brighten up the corners, every single corner for the most part, because um, again, I really like that bright light photo uh, because my feed is really neutral. Here you guys can see the before and after. It already looks a lot more bright, a lot more awakened, and it just looks more me. Um, with my white outfits, because I wear a lot of light colors, um, I will always kind of lower the brightness of the actual outfit so that you guys can see more of like the details. 
um, and then raise up the contrast and lower the saturation because sometimes white can pick up weird hues like pink or green hues. Um, so I do like to raise up the contrast and the structure as well. Um, and then sometimes like my skin always looks a little bit kind of dull just because of how much like editing I do around the building or the location or the backdrop. So sometimes my skin will also um, get washed out or look kind of dull with it or you know, like there's no color or life. So then I'll go in and I'll play with the contrast, but here's what the photo looks like before and after. I think it looks really, really great. And honestly, there's not much I would do else. I also use this app for the grain tool. So I use the first, um, the first grain tool, which is a01, I use that and then I'll go ahead and lower the style strength to normally 10 to 15 and then I'll always lower the grain tool from 15 to 25 so I like it at 20, just gonna click yes. I still feel like it's pretty dark but we're gonna go ahead and just export it first and it'll modify the photo and then we'll go into our photo app and you can see that it's modified it. You can see how grainy the photo is. This is the photo straight out of Snapseed. I love the actual iPhone um, like editing app and I normally will adjust the lighting like this. So here's the original, original photo before Snapseed, before all of it, just right after Visco, this is the original photo. Then you just wanna edit it to be either in square or four by five. So I always do four by five because I feel like it's more Instagram real estate, which I know sounds silly, but um, to be honest, it just takes up more of the Instagram um, space on someone's phone. So it gives them more of an opportunity to like it or take a look at it. So I always like to make it in the bigger option than the square option. And then that is the final photo. Um, and I really like it. So let's go ahead and just finish up the rest of them and I'll be right back. Um, now that we've edited all three of the photos, it's time to um, either upload them to Instagram or I will also show you the Style Lux app. So, so Style Lux is a um, frame kind of template app that you can make your photos look like it's Polaroided or like super vintagey. Um, and I really like using the Kodak or Instant um, features. Now let's go ahead and show you how I import um, some of my other photos that I've already taken. So um, this one here I want to import for Lily Silk. So we're going to put that photo in. We're going to put this photo in. And I really like how it makes it just really effortless and when you up the grain tool on your photos, it makes it look more like authentic to the Polaroid in the photo. So you can make it nine by 16 or four by five, which is four by five is what I like. Now, um, you can either save it like this or you can, um, but you can either save it like this, but personally, you just feel like it looks kind of like bland. You know, it's just like two Polaroids laying on a white piece of paper. But um, I really like to kind of also get the look through an app called Canva. So this is where I do a lot of like my, um, where my Insta highlights, you guys have seen all of these photos before. On my Instagram, this is where I did my guide to LA and I made all of these and stuff. So um, there is an incredible like amount selection of like Instagram story stuff that you can use. As you can see, I'm scrolling through here. 
or you can do flyers, you can make posters, you can make business cards, like blog stuff, everything, your media kit. This is what I use to make my media kit. And um, yeah, I found this app through uh, my friend Haley Estrada. So shout out to Haley. Um, but you can create a new design. You can do like the ones that they already have. Um, so I really like using like their Instagram story tool to create like um, little, you know, what am I trying to say? Like effects, I guess. So let's just look through this one and I'll show you guys like if you import a photo or something. Oops. So if you import a photo, let's say, of something that you guys want, you know, you can just kind of like change it up and you guys can like edit it yourself and um, see what kind of photos you really like or what kind of things, what vibes go well with you. For the sake of time, I already made a couple. So, um, so I made this one here and as you can see, like once I crop it, it's gonna be in the four to five ratio and I think this is super cute. It goes well on my Instagram. Or you can go into Storylux again, and I wanted to show you guys the collage feature. I love this collage here. Um, you can make it four by five again, and um, you can just add like your own photo in. Personally, I think this is like a lot, you know, it's just a lot going on. So I also like to just play with it. And let's say I were to put this photo in here. I think that's kind of cute, but the pink tones don't really work. So I ended up choosing this photo here to import and I felt like the tones go really well. It looks really good. I personally really like it. And then you can just hit save. So um, that is pretty much how I edit my Instagram photos, you guys. Um, I didn't really know the best way to go about this, to be honest. If you're someone who's just starting out with Instagram, I would recommend following people that you really like like their aesthetic of. And amongst all of them, what do they all have in common? So for me, I follow a lot of people who have beigey neutral tone feeds, but then I also follow like people who I love and have really fun, trendy feeds too. Look at all of those feeds. What do you like about them? And then make your own personal twist. And for me, I really like creating thumbnails like for my Instagram as like just as much as I would do for my YouTube. And I feel like that works really well. I also really like to um, just shoot in really fun locations. Locations are really important because they elevate your outfit or whatever you're wearing or just like it gives it a, a backdrop, like an emotional feel. I used to just take photos in front of like white walls and that's great, but it doesn't really elevate the look. You can't really picture where you would wear that outfit to. So I feel like when you pick a location that works really well and is kind of aesthetic too, uh, it just ends up kind of like the whole photo comes to life and it's almost like a scene or a backdrop. So um, hopefully you guys have found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. You guys, as you guys are doing your Instagram, um, you know, don't copy someone else's photos. Like even with my like, presets and stuff like don't just copy it you know try your best to make it your own twist because you want to make sure you're still original as you are getting inspired by other channels too so um those are all of my recommendations and also how i edit my instagram photos i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up but yeah that's everything i had to share with you guys i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you later bye